Hello to you from the south coast of England. The venue for this game is the Amex Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And what we've got on the menu is potentially absorbing league action. It's Brighton and Hove Albion against Tranmere Rovers. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And scope for them to produce something exciting. It's a perfect challenge. Neil Mopé. Just the challenge that was required. Well, hope is one thing, expectation is another. And looking at the graphic, you can see why the home fans have every reason to be pessimistic. Well, Derek, they're going to be fearing the worst. They've been so poor defensively. But if they work hard, stick to a game plan and get a bit of luck, you just never know. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Rudolf. Alexei. This attack looks highly promising. And danger still. In it goes. That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, here's the replay, and I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. But I'm hearing the situation has changed in the City game. Alex Scott is going to tell us more. It's a goal from Manchester City. It's now 1-0 with 13 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Mopé. That's a routine take. Rudolf. Read it superbly to take back possession, but it wasn't a taxing save. Mark. Daniel. Determined defending. Jeremy Sarmiento Antone not high quality defending well I believe a spot kick award in one of the other games let's hear all about it from Alex the penalty went to Manchester United it was an awful penalty he shot it well wide of the post it remains 1-0 with 21 minutes played what a lovely strike Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, as you can see, that's a great bit of skill. He times this so sweetly. What a good goal that is. So, 2-0 now. Daniel, getting forward, is this the moment? Great chance to make it a brace, but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon, he's been brilliant today. Now they're going to alter things, here's the substitution.
Well, the short corner routine. Turning inside, where's he going to go? And just wide of a target, goal kick. Well, I think the goalkeeper had it covered, but it was a decent effort, though. Well, Derek, this has been a really good performance, as you can see. They've created numerous chances, they're winning the game comfortably, and they could go on and score more. This could get really embarrassing. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Trossard. Mopé. Unable to get a body in the way. Well, half-time almost upon us, and playing away from home isn't bothering them in the slightest. Stuart, how about your take? Yeah, they're playing really well here. They've controlled the flow of the game, they've won their individual battles, and they've created numerous chances. Their only problem in the second half could be complacency, but I can't see that happening. Well, it didn't really go according to the script, did it? Well, the less said about that, the better, because that's a really poor attempt in the end. Well, the referee letting them continue, but now it's going to be a booking. Well, he tried to play the advantage, but he was always going to come back to that challenge. And possession given away. And teammates around him. Can they get in behind them? Well, he didn't miss by much, but full marks for trying. And news of a goal at Elland Road. So let's send it over to Alex. It's a goal for Spurs. It was a nice pullback, a low-driven shot. They couldn't do anything about that one. They're back level. It's one all with five minutes left to play before half-time. Thanks for the update, Alex. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? They need to get bodies back. Big chance! Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. And off the post that time. So the referee brings the first half to an end, and it's the... Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Rudolf. Running with the ball confidently. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Dunk. Now able to close down the short. Now, how about the short corner? Just wanted to get it out of there. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Right, an opportune moment for us to join Alex Scott because there's been a goal at Elland Road, Alex. It's a second goal for Spurs. 
The goalkeeper did all he could, but no one was going to stop that one. They're now behind by one with 53 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Oh, yes, a goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance, and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Well, they have the measure of it, the goalkeeper. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. It's a short one. It might be on for them. Taking care of business defensively here. Trossard. Mitoma. Really good high press. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. And time for the change now. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Surely! A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, let's look at this again. And the keeper just lost his bearings there. He was never in the right position. He won't want to see that again. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Jakub Moda. Alzate. And he read it superbly. What can they do to stop him running at them? And he takes it on. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Alzate. Alex Scott has an update for us. There's been a goal at Goodison Park. Tell us all about it, Alex. Yep. Second one for Nottingham Forest. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 74 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Well, it wasn't a simple save to make. And time for the change now.
playing it short. Well, far too much elevation there. Almost at full time, and I'll tell you what, playing away from their home patch has been a pleasant experience for them, Stuart. Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Plenty of support here. No problems grabbing hold of that one. And unable to keep possession. Well, there's been a change to the scoreline I'm hearing at the King Power Stadium. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yep, another goal for Leicester City. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Yes, but let's not... Sorry, Alex, could be a goal here. So a throw in here. Alexe. Well, Alex was in full flight. Alas, we had to cut her off just moments ago. To confirm, Leicester. And he might be through here. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. And support available. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Well, the counter chance looks very real. They need to get bodies back. Well, that is how to break up a counter attack. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Now they've lost it. Not a poor touch and unable to keep it in play. Throw in to come. Oh, breezing past him. Surely! And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game, and once again they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.